Hi, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Get Growing Weekly Work Session with Get Oiling. I'm Coach Ashley. Today, we've got a little bit of a party, um, and we're happy you are here to join us. We are joined today by founder Greg Kilwine. Hey, Greg. Hey, How's it going? Uh, we also have from our team, Jessica Julie and Colin. And uh, Jessica's got uh, one of our favorite little little helpers with us today. There's Grace, she's sleeping uh, <laughs> for now. And uh, we also have a very special guest uh, here joining us today. Uh, and um, and she is, you guys, you, if you know her, go ahead and send some love in the comments. Uh, we have Dr. Jody Denman with us today. Now, Jody has, um, Jody has, hold on just one second. Um, Jody has been on our weekly work session here before. Sorry, Paula, you were a panelist before, but that's not today. <laughs> um, so Jody has been with us on our weekly work session a couple of times in the past. Um, I think uh, some of you uh, may remember, uh, we've talked about how she runs her chiropractic practice uh, and uses her get oiling system, right? So she has an oils business, but she has a, a, a chiropractic practice that she uses get oiling to run. And as a chiropractor, Jody has no staff, one woman show. So I'm um, always excited for us to be able to get in, sort of dig into what Jody knows and how she knows to simplify things, to make things very easy for you. If you are not a practitioner, uh, you know, whether that's a holistic one or a coach or whatever, I think there are still some really great insights for you to gain today on how to simplify your business and run things without overwhelm. Jody's got things that she does from her phone because I mean, she's one person, she's making adjustments, she's selling oil, she's doing all the stuff. You got to work from your phone, right? Uh, so you're going to love what you learned today. Uh, make sure you stay tuned because there's some great information that Jody's going to be sharing with us with an exclusive offer for you to hop onto a free training that she is doing next week. So stay tuned for that. Without further ado, Jody, so good to see you. How's it going? I'm so excited to be looking at your face, Ashley. And then the baby, the baby's here. I can't eat Jessica. Your baby is everything right now. So it's so good to be here. I feel like it kind of brings me full circle because the last time we did this, it was like the launch of all things staffless practice. And now we're like, I'm almost a year in, if you guys can believe that. So Colin and Greg, you guys, we've been doing our dance for a year. I can't even wrap my brain around that. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you, what do you want to know? Let me tell you, let me give you the basics. The basics are, this is, this is me and my world. I have two practices. I've been a chiropractor for 21 years. I am really not good at managing people like at all. And it's not something that I enjoy doing, nor is it something that I want to get good at. Right. And I always say that the, the most important thing for a successful business person to know is what they're good at and what they're not good at. And you make what you're good at really big and relevant and you make what you're not good at you make it delegated. You make it either you delete it or you make it happen with somebody who is really good at it. So I don't have staff in my office, but I do have a few virtual assistants. I have a right hand, a left hand, and then we're starting to create other hands, right? So I do have a team. I've never met them in person. They're people that I truly work behind the scenes with and they make it all happen. What I, the hardest thing to figure out when you have, especially a virtual team is what you need help with. Like, how do you figure out what pieces of the puzzle, whether you're talking a young living business or a practice or even running your household, how do you figure out what parts of that you need support with and that you just don't want to, we don't have to be good at everything. We're not going to be good at everything. So what are the parts to delegate? So not only do I run the two practices, but I've been an oiler for as long, my entire adult life, I remember my first experience with essential oils. I was in my 20s and I'm 48 now. So that's how long I've been in love with Young Living. And, um, and I run an entire school for wellness practitioners, an online school to teach you how to do all things automated. I'm a 
bestseller publisher. So I published this book, Staffless, and the second book is well on its way. It's like 80% done. So things are cooking around here. They're moving really fast. And I, I use at the center of all of it, I use Get Oiling and Attract Well. And quite frankly, I couldn't do any of this without you guys. Like we were just talking about the training I'm going to be doing next week. And I hope everybody watching this joins, but that's a perfect example. I couldn't find the link. I went right to my AttractWell account. And just if you don't know AttractWell and Get Oiling, Get Oiling is um, more branded, more content, more information. AttractWell is like the blank slate of all of that with all of the systems and procedures that it mimics it, but it gives you a blank slate, right? So I use AttractWell for my school. I use Get Oiling for my oily stuff, but also for my practice. And I'm sure we'll have an opportunity to talk more about that. But Ashley was like, Jody, drop the link for your, and I'm like, oh my God, I don't know where the link is. And all I had to do is go to my AttractWell page, which is sitting right here, copy and paste the link and drop it in the chat. So it really does make life completely, I'm not under overestimating it. It really makes my life possible. So thank you, team Get Oiling. Well, we are really, really honored to have you here today. And we're excited that you're a part of our community. I think you really do sort of um, make available for everyone uh, sort of an example uh, of, of what can be done with our platform. Because I think that, I mean, maybe just a quick show of hands from you guys who are here. How many of you have ever felt overwhelmed? Uh, you know, and 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 just you know, let, let us know. Like, share in the comments. What is the thing that makes you feel overwhelmed? What's the thing that you um, that you feel most overwhelmed about? Be really curious to know what that is for you. And uh, and I think, in, in, in my personal experience uh, in dealing with overwhelm, uh, is is that when you see someone who has figured out how to make it simple. Uh, you have an opportunity to reframe the way that you're looking at how you work, right? When you look at what we have with Get Oiling or with our, our partner, our sister uh, twin, Attract Well, which is basically for the not oily people of the world. If you don't, if you have Get Oiling, you don't need Attract Well, just FYI, in case you, you, you didn't do that math. Uh, but basically, we've, we've replicated the Get Oiling system minus the Young Living stuff, and it's out there in the world for people who are not oily. We all here today are oily. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, we have an opportunity to kind of look at how someone is able to operate without overwhelm in not just the Young Living side of things, right, uh, but now in multiple businesses, running your chiropractic practice, which of course, you know, as a chiropractor, you see people in person, uh, and now you've also expanded into selling digital products, courses, training, and that kind of thing using our platform. So I guess if, if we could just sort of start, because I know a big part of the promise here today is sort of talking about avoiding overwhelm and simplifying how you do things. So, I mean, just kind of looking first at someone who is running the oils business uh, and has, you know, some kind of practice attached to that. Maybe you're an AFT practitioner, maybe you're an aromatherapist, massage therapist, whatever that might be. What would you say are a couple of things that you can do to avoid overwhelm or I love just to that. address it? I think my number one rule of thumb is to keep it simple and um, know that Rome wasn't built in a day. So I'm gonna give you an example. I lead by storytelling. I'm also not a coach. I wanna make that really clear. I don't want to be a coach. I just, I mentor a lot of people because I figured a lot of stuff out by falling down, getting back up and brushing off the hurt. And when you fall down and you get back up and you brush off the hurt enough times, you build thick skin. And I've built thick skin, which has kind of been built on um, a lot of lessons learned, hard Headaches earned, you name it. So last, so I'm a CrossFitter and what do CrossFitters talk about? They talk about CrossFit. So I'm going to talk about CrossFit for a minute. Last night I PR'd my deadlift, which means I hit a personal record with how much weight I can pick up and drop back down. And it is a lot of weight, you guys, right? And my coach said, and here's why I love CrossFit. My coach said in class yesterday, before we started working up to our PR, she said, imagine if you were new to CrossFit, this was your 
day one and you walked into the class and you saw somebody lift 300 pounds up off of the floor, you'd turn around and you'd walk back out because there's no way with never doing a deadlift in your life, you would be able to walk in, pick up the barbell of 300 pounds and walk. You start with learning how to hold a barbell and then maybe you put a little bit, uh, maybe five pounds on each end and then you practice your form and then you practice going up and down and then you do it with a little bit more until eventually all of the pieces add up and then before you know it you're deadlifting 300 pounds right so the same is true this is why I love CrossFit because it's such an analogy to what I do in my life so in my life especially in practice there's no way I could have this much on my plate when I was new in practice. So that's why I go back to keep it simple. So keep it simple with the right tools and the right decisions. Do not get into a place of overwhelm because then you go towards adrenal fatigue and nobody needs that. So what I find, I look around my, my desk space. This is my desk space. And in, in my school, we have an entire lesson. It's called Build Your Queendom. It's how to create the right space for you. Everywhere I am, there are papers that look like this. It's a blank sheet of paper and a whole lot of pens. I have pen issues and I have oil issues, right? Wherever I am, I have like, 10 bottles of oils and wherever I am I have at least 10 pens and there's always a blank piece of paper so everywhere I go if I have a thought I immediately have the ability to write it down it doesn't work for me to do it on my phone it needs to be pen to paper for me so that's rule number one there's pen to paper everywhere if I'm out on the road or I'm in a class or whatever it is I have a little notebook that I keep with me write it down write it down write it down so that's rule number one Rule number two is I need to stay really clean with my schedule. If I don't have, you know, I used to have a front desk person who would say, Jody, if mom ain't happy, nobody happy, right? And that's so true for me. So as long as I have time balance in my time picture, I'm good. And balance for me looks like time to meal prep, time to hang out with my kids, time to adjust my practice members, time to work on my oily business if that's a goal of mine, time to sleep, time to connect with my best girlfriend, time, you know, whatever it is, I need to have it fit into my life. And as long as I'm doing that, for the most part, I'm good. Um, the other thing is don't compare myself to other people's outsides. What we see on social media, it's not real, you guys. Use social media as a tool and that's it. Use it as a tool to get your message across to thousands of people. Don't use it as a way to judge who you are and how you move through the world. What you see, you see the best version of people on social media. You're not seeing, how many times has it happened where you have a friend on Facebook and then you walk around the supermarket and you bump into that friend and you're like, you don't look at all like your pictures, right? You guys don't use social media to grade or evaluate how well you're doing in your world. In fact, turn it off and only use it while you're having your desk hours where you're really focusing on your business. Um, and then the, the little things like have balance with all of it. You know, um, when it comes to marketing, there's we, we have in my school, we have something called a four part marketing map where we talk about internal, external systems and procedures, right? So um, you have, I'm sorry, internal, external systems and events. So there are internal things that you do, there are external things that you do, there are events that you do and there are procedures or systems that you do. Stay really close to the different things that you need to do to build your business. Um, I think the only other thing is, and I'm going to repeat myself, please remember that Rome wasn't built in a day. Have a vision for where you want to go and don't beat yourself up if you don't get there in the time that you think that you need to get there. You'll get there, right? Or, or, you know, I always say to my moms, um, they, they're working on the potty training and they're working on the potty training. And I say, you're going to figure it out. And as soon as you figure it out, it's going to change because that's the joy of being a mom or a dad, right? So the same is true about practice. You're going to figure it out and then it's going to change, especially in today's currency. Amazing. All right. So you guys, I hope, oh, I hope that you are taking notes. I hope that you took that in. I hope that you go back and you listen to the replay of this. Jody, that analogy for CrossFit, I think is so perfect, right? 
Um, and you guys, if you're just getting started with using your platform, what coming in and and sort of you know taking those first steps looks like is using your contact manager. Right? You don't need to go in and create an entirely new homepage for your website. You often don't need that until uh, we've got your PR, is your PR for deadlift 300 pounds? <laughs> Sorry, we just got the thing. I hear yeah, the thing. So I always <laughs> say to my friends, I have some friends at CrossFit who are, they're like, so what's your PR? And I'm like, I'm not telling. I don't give my numbers out. Just know that I'm strong as you know what. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, I so, so you up <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, so so again, you guys uh, starting with simple, so that can look like using your uh, your contact manager first, uh, using tags for the people who are in your contacts, so that you can sort out and know who you want to reach out to, uh, and then start sending emails. Right? Like, don't go in and try to build all of Rome in a day. I love that so much. All right. So, can we talk a little bit also? Because I think this is a really interesting piece of what you, um, you know, of what you, you do and uh, how you run your business. How sure. do you get to where you run most of this from your phone? What does that look like? Yeah. Um, we have something called the voicemail message funnel system, which I'll go over in the training that we're going to do next week. And Here's what I want you to do. Here's where you start with this. And you can do this with email. You can do it with the phone and you can do it with texting. So again, you're going to have a piece of paper or a notebook, or if you are a digital person, just put a note on your phone. And for three days, right? Three days, you're going to write down or type in every person that calls you if you're doing the phone study or every person that texts you or every person that emails you. What we're trying to do, bird's eye view, is we're trying to get an idea of who's calling and what they're looking for. Generally speaking, if you do this for three days, you're going to be able to narrow down all of your callers or all of your emails in three different types of people. In my practice, in my chiropractic hands-on practice, I have three callers. One is a new person, one is someone coming back after a long time of not being around, and one is a current practice member looking to get on the schedule either this week or next week. Those are really the only reasons somebody calls my office, right? So if they, if they call, the message that they catch is going to land all three of those people. It's going, the baton is going to be passed to my voicemail message funnel system, and it's going to say something like, hey, it's Dr. Jody at LightSource Chiropractic. I'm so glad you called. If you're a new person, da, da 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 If you're a current practice member looking for this, da 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 If you're an old person coming back or an old practice member coming back, da 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 And it's going to send them to where they need to go to get exactly what they're looking for. Most of the time, it sends them to texting me. And I'll tell you what I do with that in a minute. Sometimes, probably 40% of the time, it sends them to my website. Let me say this, okay? And please hear me say this. If you're sending them to your website, make sure your website is very clean and very clear and make sure that it takes 20 seconds or less for them to look at your website and understand who you are and what you do. If there's not a lot of white space on your website, it's too busy and they're gonna unclick, they're gonna go to another page. Um, if they end up texting me, I have a virtual assistant who handles all of that for me. So right now, if somebody calls my office, they're going to get directed to their next step to get the help that they need. And either they're going to go to my website where everything's automated, or they're going to land in the text inbox and my VA will assist them. Um, Here's the thing, I totally recognize that I'm not talking to a group of chiropractors. I'm probably more like talking to a group of really busy moms and dads who wanna stay home and create a work life from home so that they can be super mom or super dad. That's the chances are that's the group of who I'm talking to. If that's the case, then do the study at home, figure out who's calling in, who's emailing in, what they need and how to delegate them to the, because here's the deal. Ashley, if I sit at my office and I answer my phone, I'm probably going to end up in a 20 minute conversation that really needed to be 10 seconds, or I'm going to end up just blowing the questions off because I have to get to the next thing on my to do list. If I do this in an automated way, the right people are going to get the right things at the right time. And I can go float on a raft in Hawaii while my practice is taking care of itself or 
I can go to Johnny's soccer game. I don't have a kid named Johnny. I don't know where I pulled that from, but I can go to, you know, my son's wrestling match, right? And I know that if someone's calling my office right now, they're going to get what they need. I love it. That's amazing. So, um, uh, we are we're, we're taking bets privately on on what your uh, your personal <laughs> record is. Um, what my uh, PR is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, oh no! I, <laughs> move I on. It. I'm not giving oh, it to you guys. Fine, 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 fine. Okay. So, um, all right. So I, I know for certain, uh, we do have chiropractors, uh, who use our system, but we have lots of different types of counselors and therapists who use get oiling. Uh, and, and just to answer a question here, I think I saw one come through for this. Uh, but for those of you who don't know your get oiling site is not just for your, uh, your young living business. You have the ability to fully brand your site to look exactly as you want it to. Exactly the way you want it to. Minute, Ash? Here's the deal, you guys. I have the best software program ever for my practice, okay? The one thing it does not have is the ability to email my practice members. It also doesn't have like um, an organized, this is when this person opened this email and this is when this person did this thing. That's where Get Oiling, and I use Get Oiling for my practice. And it's it's got all of the pieces, all of the canned responses, it's all in one happy place. My virtual assistant can log into my Get Oiling account and send emails on my behalf. It's all written up, it's all saved. I have checklists everywhere for it. And the only way I can do it is through Get Oiling. And the coolest thing about the Get Oiling slash Attract Well team is like, I'll, I'll have a need, I'll email or text you guys and you'll be like, I'm, we're either working on it or here's your solution. This is a team, I always picture like the Smurf village, if you guys are my age and you remember there, the Smurfs are like sweeping and they're cooking and they're baking and they're doing all the things. I picture the Get Oiling team like that, like everybody's got their role and everybody is smurfing along and they're doing their thing and they love working with us they love their clients they love making us happy and keeping us happy and that's what really sets you guys apart from going to another company who tries to do something similar to i love working with your company and i say it all the time i say it until i'm blue in the face well, we love that you love working with us because we super love you uh, and all of your amazing community of superstars, right? So uh, let's talk a little bit uh, as well. You know, so we've, you've given us a great place to start, right? Like the, the analogy uh, on, you know, just start doing one thing and then just add a little more and then add a little more and add a little more and start with the things that are most important to your business or your practice, right? So for Young Living, if you don't even have a practice that you're running alongside your Young Living business, start with your people, right? Use the contact manager, then add on, oh, hey, what's an email that I've sent maybe three times and I've repeated myself? Right. Can I make a saved reply, right? That's really like, that's a foundation because I know we, uh, I helped to help, uh, you know, put together some of your super school trainings. And I know we spent a lot of time in saved replies and in follow-up plans. All of these things mm -hmm. are very contact manager centric, not, you know, complicated funnel automation-y stuff, but just little tools that you can just add on and save yourself a bunch of time in your day, right? Ashley, you know how many people tell me that they don't get started with this program or that program because they're too overwhelmed and not knowing where to start? And you guys keep it simple and start where your feet are. If you've got one person who's interested in ordering from Young Living, start with inviting them to go for a walk, right? Start there, keep it really, really simple. If you're not sure how to set up your Get Oiling account, start with it going on Get Oiling support and looking up the topic that you need support. Do one thing a day, spend 20 minutes a day, set a goal for yourself that's not going to overwhelm you because you know what's going to happen if you get overwhelmed. You're going to say, forget it, and you're going to go on to the next thing. I promise you, you're good at doing something. There's something that you are really, really good at. And it's usually the thing that you spend a lot of time thinking about. So, what do you spend a lot of time thinking about? What are you really good at? That's where you're 
I'm really good at puzzles and putting things together. I'm like the ultimate Yenta, right? I love taking this person and this person and creating a match and watching the magic happen. And I created an entire school just by doing that, right? So that's what I love. Nothing floats my boat more than saying, oh my God, I have a guy for you to meet. And then seeing the guy meet and watching the magic happen and then all the things that happen after that. So figure out what you're really good at, what you, what totally floats your boat and bring that special piece that you have. And you're nobody, there's no copy of you. There's only one you in the world. So figure out what you're, oh my God, stop it, Colin. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> figure out what you're really good at and build your entire business on that one thing. There are all different kinds of superstars in the young living circles, right? And some of them are very religious and some of them are very spiritual. And some of them are really, um, they, they are really into like esoteric stuff. And some of them are really into weight loss. Like what totally floats your boat? That's your special thing. Build your business based on that special thing and know that get oiling and attract oil. It's a blank slate, you guys. You take your special thing and then you follow Ashley's branding, branding trainings. You take your special thing, you apply a color to it and a font to it. You apply a system of messages to it. And then before you know it, you've got your 300 pound deadlift. I'm not saying it's 300. <laughs> We're not telling. Um, okay. <laughs> so um, I, I'm actually kind of curious. So among uh, folks who are here today, and, just, and by the way, if you're here today, for a website review, we will be getting to you in here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, and if you have specific help that you're looking for that's outside of the scope of what we're talking about right now, please go ahead and put that in the q and forgot to mention that at the top of the call. Um, so, uh, okay, Jody, you've got the school. You've talked about it a little bit here. And I know that you are going to be introducing a little bit more of that on the training you're doing next week. I would like to talk a little bit about that training so that people know uh, what they uh, are really in for if they want to sign up for that. Uh, I would also like to talk about the book. But first, real quick in the chat, y'all let us know, do you have an oily adjacent business? Do you have another business that you run or a practice that you run? And what is it? Let us know in the chat because we would love to see uh, what that is for you. Uh, we're always really curious to know on our side uh, with Get Oiling and Attract Well, because uh, that really is like y'all are y'all are my heart, like helping y'all take your young living, your oils and apply it to this thing that you love to do so that these things mesh together beautifully. Really, oh, we've got a lot of AFT here. So yeah, we, we're really interested to see. Let us know in the chat. All right, so Jody, uh, let's talk about, uh, you, you pick, you want to talk about the book first? so distracted by the fact that Peg is a psychotherapist and an oiler. Can I have an appointment, please? <laughs> so the book, the book is basically the cliff note version to my school and with a lot of funny stories and cute ideas and lots of what I call pen to paper opportunities. The second book is actually going to be called Staffless Pen to Paper. So it's like the workbook that comes with Staffless. And it's a, it's a three hour read and it's the kind of thing you read pen and highlight your way through and it gives you and it's number one on amazon and business automation yes i made it <laughs> So um, you can get this on Amazon staff list. That's all you have to look up. And basically what I'm teaching you is how do you get started in creating a practice that's based without staff? The other thing I want you to understand is that if you have staff, don't hear me saying to go fire. Because look, obviously the Get Oiling team, are they're a bunch of rock stars, right? The thing is, if you can take your staff and look at what they're doing that can be automated and get those things off of their to-do list so that they can focus on like, it's kind of like, can you imagine Ashley sitting behind the desk where most of her job is filing and making copies? Sure, I'm sure she would be a boss at filing and making copies, but she's such a creative genius. It would be such a waste of her talent. So what if you could take your current staff team and look at all of the things that they're doing that can be automated and push their talent forward so that that's what you're paying them for, what they're really good at doing. All of that is in Staffless. So that's Staffless. And then what's the school all about? Staffless Entrepreneurial Wellness Practitioners. It's called Soup School. Soup like chicken soup, not swept, not soup, 
soup, right? <laughs> and um, you can go to stafflesspractice.com to learn more about it. Again, it's stafflesspractice.com. And basically what I did is I took all of the geniuses like Ashley that I know um, who make my life possible as a wellness practitioner. And I said to them, I'm building a school, an online school. I want to record your brain and your brilliance. And I want you to give me some downloads to add to that brilliance so that practitioners can learn how to do things in an automated way. And then I said, are you in? And they said, absolutely. I can't wait to get started. And, you know, six months later, we had 500 hours worth of recorded content and beautiful downloads. So, and it's evolved into this whole thing. Now we have the club at Staffless Practice, which is ongoing support. And there's so much that is going on. Probably my favorite part of Soup School is in our course called the Soup Marketing Academy. When Ashley comes in and teaches us how to brand like a boss, she teaches us um, how to set up your webinar. She teaches us how to use Canva to create the right colors and the right words to get your brand out to the world. So these are the things that we offer in soup school. Excellent. So um, yeah, there's a couple of questions that came in. For those of you who didn't know, um, uh, Carrie Lynn, uh, your question, uh, personalizing the URL for your good oiling site. This is a core piece of branding yourself and your practice. Uh, if you go to the websites that Jody is listing off here, they're built on our platform, right? So you can have uh, your own URL.com. Uh, and actually, if you go to getoiling.com and you go to, I think it's our FAQs page, you can actually see a list of, uh, of different Young Living leaders in particular. And many of those people have their own personal brand. So they're branding their name, for instance, or they're branding, you know, whatever, you know, it is that they want to call themselves or products that they've created, things like that. So, um, so yeah, you do have that ability uh, either when you sign up or at any point with your account, just reach out to us uh, at support at getoiling.com. Excellent. So uh, Jody, next Wednesday, let's talk details for that. Uh, yeah. And then we're going to get into some website reviews. Right. So next Wednesday, what we're doing is it's basically a 101 of all things staffless practice. Like what are the three things that you really don't want to be without when it comes to automating your front desk solutions so that you don't even need a front desk? I don't, I just moved my office, which was really quite an adorable experience. And I don't have a front desk because I don't need one, right? There's no, nothing happening at a front desk. So um, it's next Wednesday at 1230. Eastern and the link was put in the chat. It's um, one of, and here's the deal guys, when you go to that landing page, that's an Attractwell landing page. And then you're going to get an Attractwell canned response. And then you're going to get the emails. Like I'm walking my walk. I'm living, I'm living what these guys are teaching. And seriously, all, all of what I do happens because I have a company like Attractwell helping me do it all. Soup forward slash landing forward slash 101. I think we even did um, soup school .com. We might have changed it to soup school .com. I'm not sure, but use that link. All right. So there's a link in the chat right now, you guys. It looks like this. I'm going to put it below the replay uh, on YouTube. This is where you're going to want to go. Uh, and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll keep this updated for future webinars as well for people who watch this video in the future. So you guys can go learn more uh, about uh, what Jody is offering. Uh, so tell us a little bit just uh, for, for folks who are kind of deciding whether or not going and checking this out on Wednesday is the right move. Uh, tell us about the types of practitioners that are in soup school uh, or that, that you know, are, are attending your trainings and are following more of what you're doing and what stage are they at in their practice, right? Yeah. So what are they doing and, and where are they at? Most of the people who are in soup school have been around for a while. And because of the way that the world changed overnight a couple of years ago, they needed to learn how to do things in an automated fashion or have their staff work virtually. Some of our students are psychotherapists, some are MDs, some are DOs, a lot are chiropractors because those are the circles that I'm familiar with and they're familiar with me. Um, some of our people in our, we have a big Facebook page. It's at Staffless Practice or Staffless Practice Community 
community on Facebook and you'll get an invite to that if you register on our link. And some of those people um, have said, I'm not ready for soup school yet. It's too much of an investment. It's too much time, whatever it is. And they just joined the club at Staffless Practice, which is one-on-one -on -one support with me, um, inside scoop on our inner membership circle, things like that. I have so many different options available, but not too many to overwhelm you. And I really, I think over and over, what would I want if I was new in practice? So whether you're a yoga teacher or a bookkeeper or a chiropractor or an MD, whatever it is that you do, if you want to learn how to automate your systems, come play in my playground. And you can take it from free to being a member of Soup School. My Soup School membership, um, it's lifetime access. So I don't ever take it away from you. You pay once and it's yours for life. And um, I'm constantly creating updates to add to Soup School, which are really ridiculously phenomenal. I can, I can attest to that. Uh, yes, it is excellent content. Uh, we actually helped to create uh, Soup School. So you'll see a lot from us, uh, from, from me, from our team. Uh, and I think uh, it's, it's just such a great, uh, it's, it's a great focused way to apply uh, what you need to know to be successful. Uh, and, and also using uh, the Get Oiling and Attractful platform to do it. So I highly recommend that you guys go check out uh, this training that, she, that she's doing on Wednesday, uh, join the Facebook group, get into the community uh, and, and start, start digging in and learning. So uh, Jody, anything else before we move on to our uh, our website reviews? And thank you. I just, thank you, you guys today. feel free, you're welcome and feel free to message me at any time at Staffless Practice. And I just want to know if Jess's baby and Colin's baby have met. No, oh, you guys, it has to happen. <laughs> oh my God. I know they're so yummy, these babies. You guys, thank you for bringing me into your world for a short time. And I hope to see you at our free training next week. And as always, uh, team Get Oiling, you guys are the rock stars of all rock stars. Thank you. Well, we appreciate you. And, uh, and, and now we have baby time. Look who's awake, you guys. And Macy's here too. See, we're having Jody. We can stick around and stare at babies. Uh, I want to, <laughs> I want to invite. We have, uh, we have two people here for a live website review. Thank you for your patience, uh, Gunilla. I am going to uh, bring you out to chat. Uh, you had mentioned um, needing some help with a custom page that you're creating, uh, and you're also signed up for a website review today, anyway. So let's uh, let's <laughs> chat. Yes, okay. I don't know if you can see me, but uh, um, yeah, I have a problem actually. Um, I have, I have as a, as a, as I, I have the main page as your version of the uh, essential oil page. I can mm -hmm. share if you want it. But then I would like to create a custom page and I have done it and it's going to be in Finnish. And this is a fin Finnish version. And there I have this, uh, this, but bottom, you see that ota yhteyttä, it means, um, but I, I don't know, get those working. I don't know what, how to do it in the same way mm. as you have that in the pop-up, you will see the, 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 the note that please give your numbers, name numbers and all that, that kind of thing. Sorry, my English, because I'm Finnish. <laughs> I'm I see. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So uh, you're you're wanting to create a pop-up form on this page, yeah, right? And really, this is really a first try. I'm okay. going to do a lot of changes before I I'm going to put this out. But then I just I'd like to learn things in between to know what to do in order to them even work. So sure. Mm. Okay, so um, um, I, I uh, love I love what you're doing here. It looks really good so far. Um, what would you like for this to do? Do you want them to contact? Yeah, yeah, you? yeah yes, exactly. Contact me. Okay, so um, so this would bring up the the contact form with your picture and a place to put in the name and phone number. Is that exactly. what you're looking for? Yes. Okay, perfect. Exactly. So to do that, uh, you click the button or you highlight the text or whatever it mm -hmm. is. In this case, we're clicking the button in this URL field right here. We're going to put in contact and hit update okay, okay. So when we save and view this let's go look this now shows here is this this is what you were looking for 
Exactly. And if we want to change these in Finnish, is it, is it possible? Uh, if, you, if you want to continue making adjustments to it, changing this? Yes, changing the pop-up in a way that and I saw in your one training that we can add even though some box there that if, yes. you, if the person is already a young living member or not, or is this yes. something new to you? Mm -hmm. So what you mm. would do in that case uh, is uh, you would change this to lead. And uh -huh. then, okay. you would, then you would make the changes in settings here under leads here where it says leads. Uh, this is where you would have, uh, so let's, uh, we'll just write it out here. So I'm gonna write this in English, uh, but you yes, could uh, change this to your liking. So fill out yeah. the form below to apply for a call with me if you want to do it this way. Mm. Uh, and then what you would do is you would put the required fields that you want. So do you want name, email, phone? Do you want to add, are you, uh, or do you, if I can, it's my keyboard going to work. Um, do you use essential oils, right? We'll just do that required and we'll do a pick one list and we'll do a yes or a no. And then I'll add a blank one also so that they- Excellent. Right? So, <laughs> so Excellent. something because like this. This was something I was looking after and I couldn't find it and I, it was so hmm. simple. <laughs> Yeah, so well, it's it is it is fairly new. So some of our older trainings uh, may not show this, um, but uh, but yeah. So so this this is a fairly new thing as of the time we're filming this right now. So uh, you would put whatever information you want here, uh, and actually on our YouTube channel, and I can show you what training you can go to uh, to see more training on this filling out this form specifically. That's going to be custom forms. This one right here, custom forms okay. for young living websites. This is the one. Yeah. So you'll okay. be able to learn how to do that. But until you have that uh, to your liking, uh, it, you know, until you learn how to do that, a very simple yeah. thing to do is to just put contact. Contact. Right. Yes. Okay. So that, uh, you know, the form already works. It will do this mm -hmm. for you. You don't have to do anything else if you just make the button. Uh, make this button say contact. And then of course you do want to make sure, uh, and forgive me, I, what, what language is this? This is a learn more. It's a, it, ah, it's, uh, okay. Yeah. And yeah, same way. And it is learn more. This goes now, this is like a copy of your page, but I, uh -huh. I'm going to change this. I would think so in order sure. to more support what I'm I'm able to offer uh, the trainings maybe or something, but what else? Because, yeah. So. <laughs> no, this is great. Uh, it's a really good idea. Uh, what what you've set up here is a really good idea. You're you're basically taking our built-in theme and putting it in uh, in your language, and that's excellent. Yes. Uh, so just yeah, make sure that you have. So right here, you have lead on these. Mm. Uh, what you will want to do. So for learn more, uh, if this is so, if if this this means this learn the more, first, yeah. Yes, you'll want yes, to make you'll want to make this go to the website page on your site and you could actually just take the page from here right mm. so if on this page you're going to talk about uh getting started with uh diffusing or something like this mm. uh then you make a page like this one that's about diffusing and then if you want to link to for them to go and learn more on that page then you're just going to click the button and then there's this little search right here and you can find other pages on your site that you could send them to. So we would say Great. maybe Thank this you very one, much. and then the update, yes. right? Okay. But for now, I'm just going to leave that there. So, okay, does that help? Good. That helped a lot. Thank you very much, Ashley. This was great for great news. Now I can continue. Well, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Well, do you have any other questions while we're here? And not at this point. <laughs> this was okay. all. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Yeah. Well, feel free. Uh, you're always welcome to come back. If you ever have any questions, uh, we are happy to walk through this with you again. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing. It has been very, I have I've been following you since every Thursday when I joined. And so, it's just, yeah, I just well, have to take a, those 20 minutes every day to look at these pages like I did at the beginning, but then Jody said, and it's how it happened, really. I just mm. get. 
stuck and well, then I forget it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but now I can continue. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Well, we're excited to see what you create and we're happy to have you as part of our community. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Gwen, are you here? Uh, excited to bring you out. I've got you here for a um, for a, uh, a live review today as well. Let me make sure. Yep. Okay, and I'm going to pull your website up. If, I think if you shared it with me. Okay, you want to make sure that you have everything hooked up correctly and that it looks good. So I'm going to find you, Gwen, and bring you out to chat with us. Awesome. Yeah. How's it going, Gwen? <laughs> thanks for doing this. Sure. All right. So tell me what uh, what kind of uh, you look into your site or you looking for today. Well, um, I guess one thing is when you go to the main uh, the main page. I actually just I've been making a lot of changes in the last week so I'm just not sure if I've got my feet in front of me or behind me at this point so okay um that pop-up box that comes uh -huh. up um I thought I wanted to promote my lead magnet and so I thought that pop-up box would be an easy way you know like if they're just mm -hmm. scrolling on the page like hey don't forget this but I don't think that's going to take them. I didn't set that up to take them to the to the landing page. Okay, so, so I mean, I, what, what's happening here is that you're actually like they can opt in on this page specifically. So if you, um, so there's a couple of options. Let's um, let me just get clear first. This is your home page. Yeah. Um, one thing that we do want to make sure that we do. It says link page up here up top. Do you see that? Yeah. We want to change that uh, so that that says home or your name or something like that. Uh, do you know the name of the page? It's link page. Oh, it's called it's, link page. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and you want this to be, you want this to be your home page, right? Um, yes. I also, I originally set that up um, as a link page on my social. And okay. so um, that's why I called it that. <laughs> okay. So do you have this linked? Uh, you know, it's actually, if you go to your website.com and that is gwenreed.com, that goes to this page, right? Yes. Okay. I think so. So, <laughs> so I, well, the reason why I ask is if you already have this, you know, gwenreed.com forward slash links out there, <clears throat> then that link is not going to work anymore. So I don't want to change this if you have links that are out there in the world uh, that might have this. Like, have you, do you, do you know if this is like, would that break something for you if, if we change that? I don't know if it would break anything. Like nobody's clicking on it yet. So. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's just go ahead and call this home to keep it simple. Okay. All right. So that's done. I'm going to save it. Um, and so now if we go over here and we refresh here, it says home, right? Okay. We could also, um, you know, we could also make this a little bit more you. The title bar text is what shows up here. So that's gonna be when read home, there we go. Um, all right, so what you're interested in doing is promoting your, um, your opt-in offer on this page, right? Yes. Okay, and you have that over here in the leads field. Okay, so cleaning tips for sports moms. Time saving tips, fill out the form below. I'll shoot it over. Okay, excellent. You're sending them the campaign. Perfect. Uh, and you're sending them to a thank you page. So that's oh. great. Okay, I did set it up right. <laughs> you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you actually you did. Uh, so when someone opts in, uh, they're going to get access to that. You've got a campaign that's going to send them, I assume, a link to the download or whatever it is that you're offering. And then you're redirecting to a thank you page, which is great. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I didn't think I had that set up right, but yes. Okay. No, great. you totally, you totally did. So this one, uh, what you can use here, you don't have to go off to the landing page for this because it is actually the form on this page, right? Oh yeah. Because you do have a separate landing page for it, it looks like. Yes. Oh, that's cute. So um, that's uh-huh. That's what I've been uh, you know, trying to put out there, that link. Um, 
you know, as I'm promoting it on social and, and that sort of thing is to put that one that you have pulled up. Yeah. Yeah. And that's actually going to be uh, more common for people, right? Like in the big, big grand scheme of things, right? People are typically going to find your website via the relevant content that you put in front of them, right? So if you make a blog post or you make a social post or you pin something and that connects to an article of information, uh, or a landing page or something like that that's helping them get a thing that they're looking for, uh, that's going to be the context by which they find you. And then they might want to explore further and come over to your homepage. But your homepage isn't, in the grand scheme of things, if you're going to be getting into making content and generating leads the way that we teach, um, your homepage is really more of a support to the other things. So um, it, there's there's no problem in having, for instance, like this redirect off to this page uh, if you want to keep it there. Um, maybe if you see yourself from time to time swapping out the thing that you're offering on the pop-up, then it would make sense to just allow them to go over to another page uh, to, to learn more about this. So that's great. Yeah. You're doing a great job. I don't know. What, what, what are you doubting? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think because I've been doing so many different things. So if you go in to where there's resource bundles, Okay. Enter your resource bundles yes. in your account. Yeah. Okay. Resource sharing right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So click on that cleaning tips for sports moms. Okay. So these are all the things that I have connected <laughs> in some way to, uh -huh. um, you know, I've got the landing page. I've got the campaign. I'm, I was trying to find a way to keep it organized to where if I did make a change, I can go back and look like, what else, what all do I have hooked up to this, to this lead magnet that's like driving the traffic. So I've got like a tripwire in there. I've got um, uh, automations in there. Like I try to put everything I could in one place so that I wouldn't mess things up. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, so, so the automations have been really cool um, in setting up the campaigns for this lead magnet. So I have a, ser a campaign series that starts um, introducing things. And then um, there's a video. If they click on that, then it switches them to a pitch campaign. So I have been really working on this the last week, pretty, pretty hot and heavy, I guess. And so wow. I, think I, have, I think I have it figured out, <laughs> I think. This is actually a really smart move, like just for you to be able to see inside of your system, at, like all of the assets that are associated with a particular um, product or, or marketing campaign. Uh, it's a really good idea um, just for, for your own personal use. And then of course, if you do put something like this together and it's something that could be saleable or duplicable, now you've got all of the stuff right here and you know you could have that be a resource bundle that you sell or share, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, Awesome. So uh, there's a question I just saw come in from Suzanne uh, about automations. We do have a training on that uh, on our YouTube channel, although I'm not sure. Greg, was that a dedicated training to automations? I think we did do that, didn't we? Yeah, we have a video link. I was just, I'll put that in the chat here in the Q&A here. Uh, it's like a 20 minute training, I think, that goes over automations and what you can use it for. So mm. it'll be more in depth than I think we could cover here. <laughs> right <now>. Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, basically it's, if you ever wanted, so what Gwen was just mentioning, if you ever wanted to, let's just say, for instance, you brought someone uh, from a Facebook group, a lead group, they wanted to get your shopping list for something. Uh, and you're kind of dropping in that shopping list email campaign, an opportunity to come join your five day pantry makeover challenge or something. Um, and let's just say that some people uh, got the shopping list, right? Uh, and they're getting these shopping list emails that are talking about joining the challenge. Some people join the challenge, some people don't. Once they're in the challenge, you don't want them to keep getting emails that are telling them to join the challenge. So an example of what an automation can do uh, is to remove someone from a campaign so that uh, they don't get emails that aren't relevant to them anymore. So if you've got you know, promotional emails that you send out, uh, you don't want to keep sending those to someone who buys something right? You don't want to keep selling something to someone who's bought it. Um, automations are used to do something like that, to remove um, 
different things. You could also use automations to tag people with stuff. Like there's, we could really get into the weeds with it. Um, anyway, yeah. So uh, Gwen, this is really cool. So uh, tell me, what, what are you doing with this? You've got, um, you're offering this, um, you're offering this uh, on your, your homepage, right? Your uh, cleaning tips for sports mom. So she opts in here uh, and she, she gets your sort of uh, guide checklist, how to tackle laundry, all of that. What happens next? Um, so the campaign that they get um, has, I think, five or six um, emails that maybe it's like three emails that just kind of talk a little bit about like I, I try to give them value. Right. So I take I take them to a blog post that I made. I, you know, give them like little tips and tricks. And then in that campaign, I have a video sales letter page, which um, I know it's in that resource bundle. But I have a little video where I talk to them about um, these bundles that I put together specifically for sports moms that include like the Thieves Hustle Cleaner, the laundry soap, you know, the dish soap, that sort of thing. Um, and so if they watch that video, um, then they're going to um, they're going to get entered into a pitch campaign, which I talk more about the products and about the bundles. So um, this is my first time trying these bundles. So we'll see how that goes, but um, go back to the, the simplify cleaning video. Do you see that one? Yes, yeah, right there. where did that go? Simplify, clean. yes, this one. Yeah, so this is just a page where they see the video and click to see the bundles. Um, so I've set up a bundles page. And so the one thing that I wish we could do, if they click on those bundles, they'll be taken to the MyYL website where the bundles are, are housed, but I don't have a way, I don't think, to have an automation to know if they actually checked out on the MyYL website. I see, okay. So, ooh, all right, so what you have here, you're linking your automation right here. Yes. Okay. So I'm not able to see because I'm not in your funnel. So actually let me, let's, let's go, let's go play pretend here. So, okay. Oh, this is cute. Okay. Oh, this, is, this is my little uh, tripwire. Okay. Look at you. This is fancy. So the bundle. Ooh, I want to. Ooh, purchase the, ooh, need. Okay. $8 purchase. Excellent. Okay. So let's come back over here. Oh, you have an exit intent pop-up on this page uh, where people are offered these uh, Young Living bundles, right? You're using your MyYL links, uh, mm -hmm. My Young Living bundles. If they have questions uh, or maybe they are deciding to walk away from this page, you're like, whoop, whoop, wait, I can help. Very cool. All right, so I'm gonna refresh this because I'm in your system now and see what this does. Uh, look at that. It takes me over to your MyYL with the bundle that's good to go. Okay, and it, I'm probably tagged in your system or whatever that automation is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is really cool. Um, Perhaps, and, and while of course we don't have a way because we're not tied into the VO, we don't have a way to be able to tell you whether or not somebody purchased that bundle. Uh, you could add to whatever your automation is here, a follow-up plan to, you know, within a couple of days, reach out and ask them, you know, if they decided to, to move ahead with the bundle, if they had any questions, yada, yada, right? Because you'll be able to know in, um, in your Young Living account, right, in your in your VO, you'll be able to know whether or not somebody made a purchase or signed up. Um, you won't necessarily know what they bought, right? But that's what your care calls are for. So, um, yeah. yeah. So, so that's what I did. I put really in the cool. automation, in the automation on each one of those links, I had them uh, tagged um, with what bundle they clicked on. I put in to remove them from the nurture sequence of emails. And then I put a follow-up plan to check the VO. So that came up on my to-do list. I was trying to figure out how to text myself 
but <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to make that happen. But um, anyway, I, hmm. I think that's the best way to know at this point is just to do it, set up a follow-up plan. Well, so there's, hmm, what's the, that, that's actually, so maybe that's an idea for, uh, for like a product feature for us, right? Because we do have on our landing pages, ways to get notified when you have a new lead or when you have anyone, even if they're not a new lead, fill out a form on a landing page. So maybe if there is some sort of notification, uh, maybe we can add that to our, to our, our wish list. <laughs> that's, that's actually kind of interesting, right? Somebody performed this action inside of my um, very sophisticated funnel, like you've put together. Uh, and, uh, and maybe I, I should be alerted when somebody reaches that point. I think that's, yeah, that, that, that's a worthy add to our wish list. Thank you, Gwen. <laughs> we don't know to do these things until someone like you shows up who's doing something amazing that we can maybe help you be more amazing at doing. So, very well, cool. and I did test it out like my little tripwire thing for the $8 purchase. Um, mm -hmm. I tested it out myself and it did text me that someone purchased on my page. So, that I wanted to make sure of that, like, I knew if somebody actually bought it. Nobody's bought it yet, but <laughs> besides me. <laughs> So this, uh, where did that go? That tripwire do to do? Oh, this guy right here. So this is, um, this is the lead form, right? So just like, um, you can actually, uh, so mm, this only works for something like this, right? If somebody currently, the way we have our system set up, if somebody pays for something, it's just like a landing page where you could go in. And if you're editing your page, uh, you go to your settings. Um, I believe it's under advanced, these notification settings. Right. So you have your defaults in your contact settings, and then you can set these. So that's why you're getting the, hey, somebody purchased. Uh, yeah. And it would be the same if somebody just signed up for a freebie or something like that. So, yeah. Cool. No, well, that, I was glad that that happened because I was like, okay, this is, um, I was again trying to figure out how to text myself that somebody clicked on that. <laughs> Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, that's, um, I don't know. I mean, Greg, is is there anything that comes to mind for you? Or I, I, I'm not thinking uh, up any any hacks right now that would pull that off. Sorry, I was answering a chat. What was the question? Oh, <laughs> is, there, <laughs> is there a way? So the idea here is, uh, is that let's just say, so she's got someone who's in the funnel, right? There's a, an existing mm -hmm. lead. They're pretty hot at this point. Um, this is a link off to a MyYL bundle right here. Um, she wants to get a notification when someone has uh, has actually clicked the link on uh, on that page, right? Mm -hmm. So someone in her system has performed this action, right? So absent a, I filled out a form and purchased or, or something or became a lead, is there another way we can trigger the system to notify us of something at this point? Hmm. I can't think of anything, but that would really make an excellent addition, like to another action on automations, just to send like an email to yourself with the contact name and maybe what link it was that they clicked, uh, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah. yeah, I'll add that on the wish list. Cool. This is That's a really good. awesome funnel. <laughs> really. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> excellent. Um, so yeah, wow. Um, Gwen, do you have any other questions or anything else we can chat with you about today? Thank you for like, for sharing this with us. It's always really cool to see, uh, amazing work in our community like this. Yeah, I've been, I've been, you know, I've had ghetto oiling for a couple of years and just, I'm not a tech person. So this has been a slow, like learning process for me. And, and I haven't been working on it every day either, but it just all started to click for some reason. And so I was like, okay, now we have the automation. Like I was always hung up at some point. And I think it's fantastic the way that you guys take suggestions, like the automations and make them happen. Because once that happened, everything started to make sense to me. I don't know why, but <laughs> it just, um, it started to flow. Now I'm not very creative. So my pictures aren't all that pretty, but I think mm. it'll work. But You're done doing is better excellent. than perfect. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You are doing excellent things. So I'm trying to figure out, let me get out of all of these other pages uh, and save this one because I was trying to click this guy 
and it's sending me here. So uh -huh. you're going to, you're going to want to check out and make sure, let's see, this is the sports mom juggle landing page. You may have changed a link or something there, uh, just in your landing pages menu over here. So just make sure that you've got that set up correctly, because this is not actually, it's just refreshing the page. It's not going to the landing page that you want. Yes. I, um, I found that on the drop down menu right before we got on and then I didn't get to change it there too. So. Okay. Okay, cool. Just so but you thank know. You. <laughs> yeah, thank you. you clearly know what you're doing here. All right. Excellent. Um, and, and there's uh, lots of praise for you over here uh, in, in our community as well. Wow. Um, Camelia, uh, feel free to shoot, just shoot me an email uh, from our, our discussion right here. It's ashley at goodoiling.com. We can pick up where we left off with our previous conversation. Gwen, thank you again. And um, yeah, feel free to come back anytime. We're always happy to uh, play funnels <laughs> with you. Yay. All right, you guys, thank you for being here today. Um, we have more baby time. She's so cute, Jess. I love her hair. It's like amazing. All right. <laughs> we'll be back here same time next week. Uh, and uh, there's going to be some really exciting news to share. So whoo, stay tuned in your inbox because uh, there's some great stuff heading your way soon. Uh, thanks, team. Thanks, community. Uh, we'll see you guys in the Facebook group and uh, at uh, supportgoodoiling.com next week. Take care.